All right, so I'm trying to mow my lawn out back, you know, like I do every week. And uh, this lawnmower I've had, I got for free, like, I don't know, I want to say five, six years ago now. And uh, I've kept it running and kept it going. But the mower deck finally pooched out on me, and I think it died for good. So here's the grass cutting lawnmower I use. You guys have seen this thing before. It's no secret. Just a big piece of shit. And I use it to mow the lawn, or at least I used to, until today. Um, what basically happened is I was running it, and you can see I've had some jerry rig modifications here because the bolts come loose and I just weld things back together because I really don't care about this thing. But anyways, this spindle essentially hand grenaded itself and blew some chunks out the side. And in the process of removing it to see what was wrong, I again broke the deck mount clean off the deck, which I've repaired these numerous times. You can see angle steel in there and a piece of box steel that essentially just gave up there, but let's look underneath. So there's the carnage. Completely and utterly fucked. Now I could buy new spindles for this thing and slap it all back together, reinforce those mounts, stick it back under there and go for it again for another year maybe. I don't know. This deck is just slowly disintegrating and uh, the engagement clutch also quite awful so I really have no desire to try to fix this so what I think I'm gonna try to do is adapt this other deck to that lawnmower and how we're gonna do that is I'm basically gonna chop off all the unnecessary hardware like these old mounting tabs I'll probably keep this one but um, yeah I gotta chop off all the old mounts even this front one's probably gonna go at least to a certain extent and then I get to weld on this one for the front and cut these guys off of this deck, clean them up since they're really the only thing that's any good left on this deck. This steel's still good. The deck steel is what went to hell. So we're going to save those mounts, weld them onto that other deck. Hope the uh, clutch system on this deck, which is completely different, as you can see this one pulls from the top, and this is the uh, belt from this deck actually so you can see this clutch system works on the side so it's completely different deck completely different setup but the spindles are good in this one and the deck is really solid there's no rust holes anywhere it is rusty but you know this looks like it's got at least three years left in it I would guess um, and the spindles look good the blades look decent yeah so I'm gonna give this one a shot Okay, so we got the three mounts cleaned up, nice and shiny, and they are pretty much ready to go on this new deck, um, with the exception of a little bit of prep here. I gotta lop these end pieces off for where it used to connect to the old tractor. I think I'm gonna keep this metal bracket in here just because this is what the clutch works off of and I'm gonna try to make this clutch work. And then I gotta figure out where these two smaller mounts are going to weld up on the chassis of this lawn mower, uh, this mowing deck in accordance to the actual attachments right there on the lawn mower itself. So you see I've got the deck thrown under there right now and I've actually got the front mount mounted to the lawn mower chassis. And I've got clean metal there and there and that's where my mounts are going to hook up. You can see I've modified there used to be a center piece here where my finger is, but now it's all gone because it wasn't going to work because of that bolt was in the way. So what I'm going to do is get this thing so it's snugged up. I got it like an inch off the ground with this piece of plywood. So it's, you know, where the lowest setting would be. I never use the lowest setting. I use the highest setting, but whatever. So what I'm going to do now is actually get this all squared up with this mount and draw some welds on this front mount and then we'll try to move on to the rear mount.
Okay, so the deck is kind of fitted under there. And these are the mounts we cut off the old deck. And you can see they, you know, they're going to hook up to this pin there and just kind of mount like that. Which actually, it lines up pretty good. I'm surprised. I'm going to have to lift this deck up a little bit more to get it so this all sits flush and easy when I go to weld all this together. Here on the other side, it's the same idea, but the deck sits back a little further. Um, but you can see there's still a little bit of space there, so I'm going to put another sheet of plywood under here to try to get this thing up. And there might be some clearance issues here. I can already see like this guard that goes around this thing. I might have to just cut this off because you can see it's going to interfere with this raise lower the deck hardware. I got to get that out of there. And then possibly this bolt. It's like a belt guide. That might have to go too or at least get shortened. I'm not really sure yet, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Deck's back under there. We got all the pins set. Not completely set in there, but we're just checking out clearances again. And you can see we've got the same problem here on the other side with this bracket. So I'm going to actually cut this diagonally across because I think this does act slightly as a belt retainer for this pulley. So I got to notch that out. And also, that bolt right there that I thought was going to be a problem is going to be a problem. So we're going to cut it off because I don't think it is going to work with this mowing deck anyways because the clutch setup is totally different. Alright, so I have been cutting, welding, trimming, and modifying. You can see right there I had to reinforce the little arm that holds the mower deck. And I trimmed this whole piece out to clear this pulley here. And I reinforced it right there just so it wasn't weakened too badly. I also, when I hooked this whole thing up, I noticed the front was hanging low and the back was up higher and I didn't like that so I had to modify the front mount. But really all I had to do was weld some washers kind of onto the front. It already had like this little groove right here which was perfect. So I, the old mount used to be right there so I just moved it up and forward, welded some washers in there to keep it coming out from the front and it just pulls pressure on the back so there's no risk of it breaking because this mount is huge. And over on the other side, you can see I had to sort of grind away the metal on that red piece. You can barely see it because it's so tight right there. But I did that just for the other pulley after I cut all this black section. And so now hopefully, oop, the sun, hopefully uh, it's all set. I'm going to hook this front mount up and re-air the tire up over there. And the clutch is actually all hooked up as well the mower deck engagement clutch. All I did for that was uh, see if I can get my hand in here. This is this, this is the engagement piece right here. When you engage the mechanism on the tractor it pulls. So what I did was I just took this long spring and I ran it to the linkage over there which controls the clutch which is up that way and it has brakes on these pulleys to stop the mower deck quickly when you disengage. So hopefully this will all work with minimal modification. So far it looks like it works, but there's only one way to find out. So I'm not going to lie, I am a little bit nervous to try this thing out for the first time. I don't know if it's just going to come unraveled out from underneath me or what's going to happen, but either way it should make for good video. Um, I haven't sharpened the blades or anything, this is strictly just a trial run right now. If it all works out well, then uh, I'll take the deck back off one last time, paint all the grinding spots that I ground and welded so it doesn't rust out again like the last one and sharpen the blades and use it hopefully for the next several years and I'll be very happy because I didn't have to buy new spindles or a new lawnmower. So really there's two bad things that could happen right now. Either A, the mower deck could just fly apart as soon as I engage it because it's either junk or I've hooked it up poorly which I hope is not the case but you know who knows. The other one would be if the mower deck actually never disengaged um, basically meaning the blades never stop turning. Um, that's definitely a possibility if the clutch is too tight. I still haven't bought myself a battery, so I'm still basically jump starting it off of the starter. So I guess let's try this for the first time and see how it goes.
boned her eye. Of course. Try to do a video. You make me look like a dick. As I actually just noticed something else at this engagement lever. You can actually adjust it. Like I said, it's cable. So right here I got a bunch of adjustment points. So I'm actually going to loosen this real quick and then fire this baby back up and hopefully the blade spinning problem is solved. It actually seems to work pretty good. It even, the blades even stop when you shut it off. So that's pretty sweet. Well, you can see it's actually spinning a little bit. I might have to adjust it out one more click. But all in all, it looks pretty good. So there you go, guys. That's how you adapt or retrofit a lawnmower deck onto a riding lawnmower that doesn't really belong. It is possible. It just takes a lot of work. But... Honestly, it only took me a couple of hours, and a couple hours of my time isn't that bad because I'd have to work many more hours to afford the money to buy either a new lawnmower or some new spindles. So, thumbs up for sweat equity. See you guys later. All painted, blades are sharpened, and I've even mowed a little bit with it. Works really good. Actually works better than the old deck. So, pretty sweet.